Hi, I'm Arun Silvaraju from HCL Tech. I'd like to share with you a case study on our connectivity and glitch static sign-off methodology. We used this approach to successfully verify an SOC design in only a few days, compared to several weeks of work required with alternative methods. We choose a static sign-off approach using Rayland and SafeConnect because the options using formal verification, simulation, and script-based connectivity checking had challenges with runtime, scalability, debugging, and efficiency when used for this purpose. Setting up SafeConnect, including defining our connectivity rules, took us less than eight hours, so we had the flow up and running the same day. In comparison, it requires special expertise and takes us more than a week to set up formal or simulation environments. Further, script-based connectivity checking has capacity and speed limits and does not identify issues until later in the design. HCL adopted Real Intent Safe Connect for our early RTL and gate level netlist sign off for both IP blocks and SOCs. Two of the tool's advantages are number one, the rule def definition process is easy. We can develop our own rules for our company, a specific project, or an industry. First, we define the path, sources, and destinations. Second, we define our connectivity and glitch checks, such as if a signal is driven or not, or glitch reaches a specific signal. We define and sign off the rules for each subsystem and then do the top level rules. Number two, Safe Connect's connectivity and glitch analysis is substantially faster and has much higher capacity than formal simulation and tickle based scripting. Its runtime was only a few minutes versus a formal verification runtime of hours for the same purpose. We perform connectivity checking at every stage of the design flow. Safe Connect treats our RTL or netlist design, constraints, power intent and then performs the analysis, generating a comprehensive violations report based on our specified rules. I'll share two examples of the bugs we found based on the rules we defined. Rule one was that the connectivity from source to destination must be in the same power domain. Safe Connect filtered out the paths containing isolation cells or level shifters and identified and reported all the paths where the source and destination were in different power domains without any power control. Rule two was that no glitch should reach the input pin of any instance in the design. Safe Connect found and reported all input pins for which the drivers converged to cause a glitch in the design. HCL successfully verified the connectivity and addressed glitches in the design using this static approach. Further, we significantly reduced our setup, analysis, and maintenance time compared with other methods. Thank you.